Night. Civil rights activists, including some from Memphis, traveled to a Missouri community to show their support for an African-American woman facing prison time after allegedly cutting in line at a Walmart nearly three years ago. Heather Renee Ellis faced a pretrial hearing before a Stoddard County judge today. Her trial is scheduled for November 18th. Fox 13's Les Smith was the first television journalist to cover the story. He's live in the studio with the latest. Hi, Les. Hey, Jill. It's been a long road in maintaining her innocence, but Heather Ellis today moved one step closer toward her ultimate judgment day. Yet, if the Kennett, Missouri woman thought the odds were stacked against her before, an uphill battle may get even tougher by traveling just 50 miles up the road. Walking hand in hand with her mother Hester, 24-year-old Heather Renee Ellis trudged grim-faced into the Stoddard County, Missouri Justice Center for a pre-trial hearing Wednesday afternoon. The former pre-med student faces four felony counts and possibly 15 years in prison that stem from a January 2007 arrest after allegedly cutting in line at a Kennett, Missouri Walmart. She's fighting for her life. This has been an outright attempt to destroy her future and assassinate her destiny. And uh, I'm proud of her and the fact that she's standing on the truth. But confronted with a change of venue in the nearly three-year-old case, Ellis and her family did not have to come alone to the small, ultra-conservative southeast Missouri community of Bloomfield, where her trial is scheduled to take place on November 18th. Members of local civil rights groups from neighboring Sykeston and Cape Girardeau joined forces with a representative from the St. Louis ACLU and the Memphis chapter of the Southern Christian Leadership Conference in quietly demonstrating their support for Ellis. We're just wondering how we can get more support, uh, not only the area, but statewide and nationally to get more sounding board for people who don't have a voice. There's so many cases. This is, uh, without question, uh, an injustice. We see uh, that, and our concern beyond that is the fact that the Ku Klux Klan is trying to intimidate this family. But we're going to stand with them uh, as uh, the Southern Christian Leadership Conference and try to get as much support as we can. The change in venue could prove to be one of the toughest any African-American defendant could ever face. Located 50 miles north of Kennedy... Bloomfield's black population measures less than 1% of its 2,000 residents. Statistics from the Missouri Department of Justice indicate it's a judicial system considered one of the strictest in the state in terms of convictions and sentencing. A reputation those in the area, both black and white, openly fear. This is a very tough place to play ball. You will see uh, injustice in all of her glory right here in the boot hill of Missouri. It would, however, seem a comfortable setting for Dunklin County District Attorney Stephen Sokoloff to dominate the proceedings as he did during the 20-minute hearing on Wednesday. With cameras barred from the courtroom, Sokoloff told Judge Joe Satterfield he has now turned over all discovery evidence to Ellis's new attorney, T.J. Hunsacker, including videotapes from the Walmart. Sokoloff has insisted in the past that those tapes will definitely prove Ellis is guilty of the allegations. Sokoloff also provided the motion to exclude some of the defense witnesses in the case. No, I don't comment on these things prior to trial. I'll let the evidence speak for itself. I think it's inappropriate to be discussing these things. And Under orders from attorney Hunsacker, Ellis did not give an on-camera interview. However, she did participate in a prayer ceremony at the end of the hearing with family and supporters. And we pray con for continued protection in the midst of the uh, intimidation tactics. of the, the power of prayer. Heather Ellis may now very well need to believe in it. The Memphis SCLC plans to throw a fundraiser on October 30th at the Cane Creek Baptist Church here in Memphis to help with Heather Ellis' legal defense fund. Les Smith, Fox 13 News.